What's going on guys and welcome to Bogey RC videos. So today we got a little something different. This is uh, my first WPL. I've always kind of looked at WPLs but never pulled the trigger on one and then when they released this, uh, it was like the first day they released it, I went ahead and uh, put in an order for it. This is the WPL E1 and uh, from what I can tell, according to the uh, WPL aficionados, which I am not one of, but uh, according to them, this thing has been a long time in the waiting. And uh, just looking at it, it's a pretty cool little rig. It's modeled after a Russian Gaz 71, as I understand it. And uh, it's cheap, man. This thing, uh, this thing is... The price of uh, a nice set of upgrade wheels and tires for an SCX24 or even less. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd grab one up just to kind of see what it was all about. Um, it marks a couple boxes off for me. Uh, it's a tracked vehicle. I've been wanting to kind of mess around with a tracked vehicle a little bit just to, just to see because I haven't had one. And uh, also... Uh, because of the military thing, um, I've got a couple military uh, rock hobby rigs, and uh, it's kind of something new to me. And uh, this kind of goes along with that kind of a kind of a model idea, I guess. But uh, as you see, it comes with a whole bunch of parts we got to put on. We got to do all the wheels, and it's got uh, little covers here and doors and fans, and all that stuff has to be assembled. So uh, we're going to get into doing that in just a little bit here. Um, apparently, this has two 130 size motors in it. It's really scaled out uh, little rig here, the way it looks. And that's kind of one of the things that also draws me to the WPL side of things is, is how scale they are. And uh, I think we can weather this up. And to be quite honest with you, uh, I thought that uh, I would go ahead and do some weathering on this one as sort of a practice run before I get into doing that on the... Uh, on the rock hobbies rigs that the rc elf was so kind as to uh gift to me so anyhow guys uh we're gonna go ahead and uh break into these little parts throw them on here real quick uh we'll get some batteries in it we'll check out this uh transmitter we'll uh we'll get this thing uh moving around and and just kind of get a feel for it guys so uh total assembly time was about 15 minutes i guess it wasn't too awful bad some of the little pieces and parts were a bit finicky but uh yeah um just be per persistent and uh it'll go right together now uh our battery packs in here i did go ahead and charge that up and one of the things that i learned i thought something was the matter with this guy um, you see when we turn it on, the headlights are blanking, this is blanking, and that's indicating that it's going through a bind process, but uh, it wouldn't quit, but if we just turn the steering wheel right or left, that completes the binding process, and then the vehicle runs. So, 
yeah um got to make sure we get this battery in here it, the battery tray really isn't uh it's just a hole so you just kind of stick stick it down in there and uh there you have it but uh yeah, it's a pretty cool little truck guys lots of scale details on here i did just kind of start doing a little bit of weathering uh, i don't know if you can see but i put a little bit of uh stuff on there that's supposed to be like oil just a little uh oil wash and i'm kind of excited to get this thing weathered up and uh looking good maybe we'll take this white and change it to a different color but uh no I mean for the money uh it's, it's like i said it's a very cheap little very cheap little track vehicle lots of nice scale details on it um the plastic feels good i mean it doesn't feel like you're gonna break it or nothing uh it, it uh, seems to be solidly built and uh, I'm kind of excited to uh, start messing with this thing um, kind of getting into the uh, I guess the modeling aspect of RC and uh, that's why some of these military vehicles like this one the rock hobbies that uh, RCF sent to me uh, kind of getting me into that you know and uh, like I said, I want to do this one. I want to weather this up a little bit and uh, just uh, see how that goes before I tackle the Rock Hobby ones. Uh, this is a nice cheap thing to get me started into that. And, uh, you know, once I get it to where I like it, then we'll uh, move into the Rock Hobbies. Now, this is a 1 16th scale. The Rock Hobbies are 1 12th, but... I think that we can still use this in some little running videos uh, that I got on my mind to make with the uh, with the military vehicles um, through the magic of uh, camera angles and editing. I think that uh, we can make this one sixteenth vehicle work with the one twelfth vehicles in videos. So anyway, guys, I just thought I would show this thing to you. Like I said, it's a cheap little truck, um, highly detailed, and uh, I mean, for the money, it's, uh, you know, if you want to experiment around or if, you, or if you're looking at getting into something like this, these things are pretty cheap, and there will be an affiliate link down in the description below if you want to buy one of these just to try it out if you want to help out the channel a little bit. I do have affiliate link to WPL. So uh, until next time, guys, Owoko Lee, Bogey RC Videos said, I'll see ya.